Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We have a little partner in crime here today. So we have Max with us. He's going to try to get in my hair. So today we're going to talk about the products that were in last week's Makeup Basket Monday series. I do have two new products I'm going to be playing with this week. I'm not sure if I'm going to come back on next Monday and, and explain those items to you guys and, and like maybe do a full review or if maybe we'll just do a get ready with me and that'll be it for the week for those two items because I am finalizing our packing schedule. So let's talk about the products that i pulled from this past week so let's get started so the first item came from this little set right here let me reach down and grab it this is this little set called the ulta beauty keep calm and sparkle on so this is a set that i've got for my birthday so there's some items that were in there that i tested out this week the first item is this little eyeshadow eyeshadow palette most of these shadows in here are actually really really good they're pretty pigmented and they are metallic so if you like the metallic type of shadow max is trying to lick it so if you like metallic shadows then you're gonna like this the only one i feel like is not that great is the um this one right here which is lolita it's not that good be lola sorry not lolita lola is not that good because i feel like you have to keep packing that color on in order to get good pigmentation other than that i feel like this is a really good little eyeshadow palette so if you're interested in getting some metallic -y type shadows this is a good way to get it because that whole set right there is like 20 bucks at ulta so you're getting a lot of different items that are like kind of like within this the season like the new makeup items that are coming out those gl glowy type of highlighters and things the next thing of course that come in that set is the ulta beauty golden glow face primer so this definitely gives you a golden glow on your skin if you are looking for that kind of glow from within put this under your foundation it's going to totally give you that glow from within the other thing that i really like about the ulta brand is that i found out that they are cruelty free so that's awesome so they're not going to harm little things like these little guys so he's grumpy so they're not going to harm a little fellas like this so I like that they're cruelty free that makes me really happy so I think I'm gonna start leaning towards buying more items that are cruelty free everything that's in my collection obviously I'm not going to just toss it all away but I'm I think from here out anything that I purchase is gonna be cruelty free obviously I did already purchased the items for my birthday and they there are some items in there that were not cruelty free but from here out I think I'm gonna stick to cruelty free because I don't want to harm little little buddies like Max the next thing that I want to talk about in that little set there is the Ulta and this is the face sculpting holographic highlight so this is definitely has a like that holographic highlight this is totally they describe it to a T let me swatch it for you so I can show you what it looks like hopefully Max doesn't try to lick it while we're swatching it so there's what it looks like I just I am not into those stick type of highlighters I think that they're good if you like those type of highlighters but for me I don't love them now if you're someone who has a problem with your highlighter kind of fading off through your off your face throughout the day this will be perfect to stick this on underneath of your powder highlight because then it's going to stay for a very long time but you got to remember this is holographic so you I don't know how that's going to affect the way that your other highlighter looks so just keep that in mind it's a good one though if you if you like cream highlights it's really really pretty it's definitely pretty and definitely glowy the next thing in that little set there was this right here this is the Ulta Beauty glitter tears eyeliner so here's what it looks like Max is checking it out too <laughs> so this I would not recommend to use as a eyeliner I don't think it works that great as an eyeliner but if you're looking for some more color on your eyelids that more poppy color on your eyelids it's gonna work really well for that so I really do like it for like kind of like the Stila Magnificent Metals it works really good like that I don't think it has as much longevity it doesn't last on your eyes quite as long as the Stila does but for the set right here I mean you're getting a pretty good value here you're getting lots of glowy things the next thing that came in that set right there is the wait a minute let me find it here it is this is the Stila I'm sorry the Ulta this is the finishing powder and lightweight matte finish I have two matte powders that I had pulled this week and I did not get dewy at all so I honestly did not try either one of these so these are actually going to get put back into the makeup basket to maybe use this this week here because my skin did not get dewy but you guys know I have very very dry skin so it's hard for my skin to get even dewy so I didn't try them out so I don't want to lie to you guys and say that they're good or they're bad because I don't know I really have no idea that is I think everything that came in that little set right there let me double check the set oh there's a lipstick the metallic lipstick the metallic lipsticks are really really pretty I'm gonna take it off and put it on for you guys. whoops so you guys can see it I'm like dropping stuff everywhere here guys there's like a giant mess around you so I'm gonna take this lipstick off and then we're gonna put this metallic on so you can see what it looks like I think it's really really pretty Max is gonna try to eat it so hopefully I don't have a mirror 
so hopefully I can get it. Oh, I mean, I just put it on my tooth. I need to grab a mirror. I can't do this like that because otherwise we're gonna have lipstick everywhere and all over my teeth. Oh, oh, don't eat that. <laughs> He's trying to eat my SD card. But it's very pretty. It's a very hard stick, though. Like, the lipstick's very hard, like, to touch it and everything. So it doesn't go on very easy. It's not very creamy on your lips. But as far as being metallic, I don't think it's super metallic. I just like the way it looks on my lips. It looks almost natural, but it has a little bit of glow to it. So I think it's a very pretty lipstick. And definitely for the value of that set, I think you're totally getting your money's worth. So totally recommend that little set right there. The next thing that I tested out this week is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is the Volume Mascara. This stuff is amazing. The only thing I don't like about this mascara, I feel like it makes my eyelashes feel kind of hard and crispy. And so, like, if you want to go back in later on and apply some more mascara, because I know, like, if you're like me and you're not very good at mascara, sometimes I'll go back later on and I try to apply some more mascara. And because it's kind of hard and crispy, it's hard to do with this mascara, so it's not like my favorite for that part but as far as lengthening and volumizing totally gives you both of those I love it for that I am wearing it today on my eyes and I think it turned out pretty good are you wearing it today too Max yeah okay so he's wearing it too so he likes it too <laughs> so anyway it's a really good mascara I do love that the next thing is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, or no, Butter Blush. So this one's in the shade Plum Rose. I did get rid of the other one that I had, and actually I'm going to get rid of this one too. So this is another one that is not going to be staying in my collection. It just doesn't show up on my skin. The, no matter how much I put on, how many layers I put on of it, my skin just looks kind of glowy and dewy and, and it just not very much hot, not very much blush to it. So I'm not even going to keep it. I'm going to pass that along to someone else who may enjoy it more than I am. And the next thing is the uh, Makeup Revolution, the Strobe Highlighter, and this one's in the shade Holographic Lights. This is really, really pretty. Now, out of the highlighters for Holographic, I really do like this. Let me swatch this for you guys, too, so you can see how it looks. Let me get the other one off my hand. Are you going to help? Thank you. Hold on to it. Okay, so I'm going to swatch this one. Let's not eat it, okay? Thank you. So there's what that one looks like. It has more of a greeny type of glow to it as the one from Ulta has more of a purpley. I'll show you the difference. So there's this one right here. This is the Makeup Revolution. So you can tell it just definitely has a little bit of green reflect, reflex to it. This one has a little bit more purpley blue. Let me show you the difference side by side. So on this side right here, oops, on this side right here is the Ulta one. And then on the side closest to the mirror over here is the Makeup Revolution. So as you can tell, they definitely look different, but I really do like the greeny one. I don't know why, but I like the way it looks on my skin. It doesn't show up green. I am wearing it today. So and I don't think it looks green. I think it looks just very glowy. It's not like a, an extreme highlight. It, to me, it's more like a medium highlight. It's not like an hourglass and it's not a Becca. So it's like right there in the middle. The next one from Makeup Revolution is the shade Moon Glow Lights. This one's really, really pretty too. Now this one's a little bit more natural on my skin tone. I'll put this beside the other one. So that is right there on my hand. This one looks very natural on my skin. So this one is still not like an hourglass where it's going to look kind of like that glow from within. It's definitely still going to give you some highlight to your face, but it's not so overwhelming that you're like, oh gosh, I could never wear that on a day-to-day -day basis. You could totally wear this on a day-to-day -day basis and get by with it. I know sometimes I don't like to go out with those poppy highlights, especially because I live like in the country and not a lot of people here wear these glowy highlights. They're looking at me like I'm a little bit crazy if y'all wear a super glowy highlight. So I just have to be careful how I put my makeup on and don't overdo it. I know a lot of times for YouTube, the people you'll see, they'll put on a ton of highlight and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I could never go out like that. Not because it looks terrible or anything. It's just that I live in a place where there's, it's, it's a, I live in the country. So <laughs> anyway, I don't know if that makes sense or not. The next thing I tested out this week is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. Love this foundation. The only thing I did notice is you can see, what are these called? Your Marion, marionette lines. My marionette lines show up pretty good with this, but nothing to where I'd be like, I'm never going to use that again. It does have an SPF of 20 in it, which is really, really good. I haven't noticed that it has a flashback or anything to it, so I think it's a really good foundation. I, can, I am going to do a full like wear test using this foundation so you guys can see how it works for dry skin. I feel like it's pretty hydrating, so not too shabby. The next, I did not use any of the other mascaras because I had pulled four mascaras. And what was I thinking? Why would I pull four mascaras? So I have the Lash Princess. This is the False, Lash, False Lash Effect. I haven't tried that one yet. So that one's going back into the basket. 
And then I have the Essence Crazy Volume Extreme. I haven't tried that one either. And then the other one that I did not try is the False Lashes Mascara Dramatic Volume Unlimited. So those are the three they're gonna go back in. I'm just gonna keep them in there kind of until I finally use them and then I can tell you guys about them. So I won't remind you guys again, hey, I haven't tried them. The next thing I did test out is the Essence Make Me Brow. This is actually really, really good. I have this only in my brows today, and if you have brow, ha brow hairs already and you just kind of need to darken them up, I think this works excellent. So I totally recommend these. They're only, what, $2.99? That's awesome value. So I think they're kind of comparable to the Benefit Gimme Brow, in my opinion. The next thing that I had that I tested out this week or played with this week is the Ulta Tinted Eye Primer in Champagne. This is really good. I think it's a good primer for your eyelids. I know a lot of people compare this to the Urban Decay. I don't love Urban Decay, so I can't really compare because I haven't used it recently because I don't love that one. But I think it's a good eye primer. It definitely has a little bit of pigmentation to it, so it's going to help with discoloration. So if you are someone who has like um, discoloration on your eyelids, then it's going to help. But because this is a champagne color, I'll show you how it looks. It definitely shows up a little bit metallic-y, so I would only keep it on your eyelids. I wouldn't take it all the way up to your brow bone, but it's still pretty. I think it's a very pretty, especially if you're using a metallic-y shadow, so I think it works really well together with metallic-y shadows. So that is, wait, oh, I have the palette too. Uh, it's buried underneath the, the blush. So I had also used this week the Ulta Beauty Matte Neutrals Eyeshadow Palette. I love this palette not because it's all matte because it has my name in it no i'm just kidding no it is a really really good palette the shadows are actually really really pigmented max is trying to lick it it's very very pigmented the colors blend out easily i have no problems with this whatsoever the wear time on it is really really good especially with an eye primer i tried it without an eye primer and i had a little bit of difficult time like blending it out a little bit but with a primer i had no problems whatsoever so i totally recommend this it's really really good i think ulta is actually stepping up their game a little bit in their their makeup products let me know if you think so too but i really think that they're stepping up the game so i think that's everything now that i tested out this past week so now i'm going to show you the two items that i'm going to be playing with this week the first one is the pirates of the caribbean this is the Lorac cheek palette so here's the cheek palette it is not in here actually um and then the other one is the pirates of the caribbean eye palette so here is the eye palette itself so those are the two only things i'm going to be testing out this week so if the eye palette looks like this i'll show you guys whoops max is really interested in this one so here's what it looks like i'm trying to try to show you without first of all dropping max and not blinding you so there's what all the colors look like i think they're very very pretty i'm excited to play with this my husband loves the pirates of the caribbean so he saw this in my room and he's like whoa do you have dead men tell no tales stuff and i'm like yep he's like that is awesome so anyway and then the other thing that comes in here is a little blush palette well it doesn't come in here that was you buy these buy these separately and you can put it in the little door that it has there so that's really cool so this is the blush palette i'm going to be playing with this week so those are the two only new items I'm going to be testing out. So I only have a small review to tell you guys next week. So that makes it a little bit easier for me while I'm getting ready for our bigger trip. So anyway, let me know if you guys have tried any of the products that I talked about today and what your thoughts or your opinions are on those products, whether or not you enjoyed them or whether you could recommend them or if you've tried the Lorac palette, let me know what you think of that because I'm excited to play with it. It is a birthday gift. For, I had birthday money and birthday gift cards. So that's something I purchased with the, with that money and gift cards. So that is a little gift that I'm going to be playing with this week. So let me know if you've tried it and whether you like it or what you think of it. Anyway, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys later. See ya.